Hello. I did a little project today and I thought I'd share it with you. I uh, decided to try and make my first concrete batteries and it really worked out great. Uh, what I did here is I cut a, piece, a copper strip here an inch and a half wide and I soldered a number 10 copper wire to it. I did that for both of them and they're sitting about a half inch off the bottom of the soda can here and then I mixed up uh, a batch of uh, quick crete concrete mix distilled water and a little elm I mixed in with it too filled them up and I did them yesterday so they sat all night and they're dry now and I checked the voltage on them this morning and uh, each one is putting out 1.2 volts and I, I check them together and it's exactly a uh, 2.4 anyway I have here a lit motors little uh, self starting frequency pulse motor a replica of it I did if you need to, if you'd like to see this just go to his channel and look at uh, self starting frequency pulse motor by lit motor you'll find it he does a very good diagram like he always does and uh, it'll be pretty easy to duplicate anyway on these cans one thing that might help you to know is when I finished cutting the tops of them off I did a continuity check uh, to see if uh, there was whatever they coated the inside of them with was uh, you could get contact to it and sure enough I couldn't get any contact to it so I took them on a drum sander and, and very pinch, uh, patiently uh, sanded out the inside of them very thoroughly so I could get good uh, continuity, good contact through them and uh, pour them full of that cement mixture <laughs> that I put together, it's right here I think it would cost about four dollars for the concrete and it's probably enough to make ten of these things <laughs> anyway I'll uh, fire her up here, I'm just going to take this lead and stick it under the can And there she goes. There she goes. I mean, that thing just roars. It's got more than enough power to run that little uh, pulse motor. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I've been making some other ones too. I'm starting to experiment around with the. Uh, I'm going to take this off flower for a second. Uh, I'm, I'm experimenting around now with the uh, glue uh, batteries. I'm having some very good luck with them too. When I do uh, two or three of them, get, uh, get them completely done, I'll run a quick video on them and explain exactly what I did to put them together. They worked out good. On this uh, Penny, uh, Littmore's version of Penny, my version of it in here, I made this kind of a pancake coil on it. I did a video on that a couple of days ago. Uh, let me switch this back. I, I got rid of the uh, variable resistor and I just took two 1Ms and put them in parallel and it worked quite well except of course you can't vary the uh, the oscillation at all so but, but it works real good I found out also with a AV plug uh, it works real great off a uh, cider clayer too uh, anyway that's the batteries I did And they worked out real great. I'm real happy with them. I'm curious to see how long they're going to last. I got a feeling they're going to last a long time. Well, that's about it. Thanks very much for watching.